let's see what it's like to expand on improvisation through a little bit different method. I like to call this method the call and response method. And this particular method is like a short conversation between friends. It's as if you see one of your friends passing down the street on your way to work and you say, hey man, how's it going? And he says, hey dude, what are you up to? You say, I'm heading to work. He says, I'm heading to work too. Then you might say, well, hey man, let's get together later. Why don't you shoot me a text? We'll hang out. He says, yeah, that sounds great. Awesome. Okay, see you later. See you later. You know, this is a short conversation between friends. There's a lot of things communicated here. Hey, this is fun. It's good to see you. I sure would like to hang out later. Maybe we can do something fun to have something to look forward to. That sort of stuff is communicated. It's short and simple, but effective. So let's look at how call and response can work with music. So we'll have a short motive. Okay, you can stop and think, maybe what is the next motive I could play? Okay, well, maybe now you could try to put those two motives together. And if you don't play them exactly the same when you go back, that's okay. Let's try again with the call and response, except this time I'm gonna start on a high note instead of one in the middle, and I'm gonna go down, and then I'm gonna try going back up for the second motive. So the call is gonna start high, and the response is gonna start low and go high. Again, I used a method that was pretty simple. I'm gonna start on a high note, go down, then I'm gonna start on a middle note and go up, and I resolve to that G, okay? So now, let's do it one more time, and I'll do a motive I like to go up then down. So let's start down here low and go up, and then go from a high note back down, hopefully to the low note again. So I made that one a little bit more complicated, but it definitely, you can hear how these methods of starting low, going high, starting high, going low, will help you out with generating new ideas. The ultimate thing is to try to, at least within yourself, to hear how each little motive that you create is now being inspired by the one before it. And you're building in this way that allows you to have ideas that flow well together. Through this process, you'll become a much better storyteller as an improviser. You'll learn how to create those little points of resolution and points of climax and points of conflict in your solo uh, very, very well. Take your time and enjoy and celebrate what you learned today and what you're successful with today. I hope to hear you guys improvising soon. Stop.